listening, there's only talking. <laughs> How would that work? Let's find out. Right away, look to the person to your left or the person to your right or right across from you and talk, and I'll give you 10 seconds, talk at the same exact time. Go. <laughs> Time's up. Time's up. Simmer down. Time's up. Now, from your experience doing that exercise, did it feel as if maybe there was something missing when you were both doing the talking? Well, we're going to talk about, how, well, first of all, I'm going to do my best to listen lucently to you while you listen lucently to me. Now, you wonder how I listen to you when I'm the one speaking. But there are other ways to talk, like body language with your eyes. And you'll find out what the percentages are of what you maybe should be doing in your talks so that you could be more effective. For the last three years or so, I've had the chance to listen lucidly to three different clubs, contests, conferences, and I'm excited to give another speech. What we will learn today. This might be reviewed for some of you. It might be for the first time figuring it out that we have two ears and one mouth. So maybe we were designed to do more listening than speaking, except when you're speaking, of course. Why listen? Good question, right? You're wondering why listen. So here are my top 10 reasons why listen, and hopefully this will help. My top 10 reason, showing you care. I was under a little bit of pressure when I came here today. Well, not too much pressure, but I met Ellen when she first came in and we're talking. And I'm realizing, wow, I'm doing this exercise right now. She was talking, I was listening, I learned about her, she learned about me. We all do this in our business and life. Everywhere we go, we do it in text, we do it in email, we do it everywhere. We do it on social media too, Sherry. Number nine. Listen to respect the speaker. Of course, that is one of the four cardinal rules of Toastmasters, respect. The first one being integrity, respect, service, and excellence. Number eight reason why listen is confirmation, to get a validation, to understand, to confirm. Leaders listen, this is number seven, of course. It's up there too, right? Great, technology is wonderful when it works. Leaders listen to enhance personal development. When you're speaking, you're talking what you already know. But when you're listening, you're learning. Number six, leaders listen to search for solutions. How can we get 10 more members in WCR Toastmasters? And then I listen for everybody to shout out an answer. <laughs> Just make a little note of it on your little pink butterfly. Number five, leaders listen to communicate vision. We don't work at companies. Companies have mission statements. We go to meetings, we listen. Works great for business, works great for interpersonal relationships too. Leaders listen to lead projects or teams. That's my number four. Number three, make eye contact with the speaker. That's how I'm listening to you. When you make eye contact, you're not on your phone, you're not doing your homework, you're not worried about your next job interview, your next client, you're making eye contact, you're listening. You didn't think listening was just a year, did you? Number two, be attentive, listen to words, be open-minded, and be focused. No distractions. 
And my top number one reason for listening, when listening, do not interrupt. You guys get an A+. Plus. <laughs> but of course, this is Toastmasters. It's easy here. In the real world, we all have some clients that want to interrupt every five seconds in the middle of a presentation. We have to set those rules, so there's rules for that, too. Here's a bonus listening tip. Wait for a pause and then ask a question. <coughs> Another bonus tip. Ask to understand, but not to detour the chat. How many times do we interrupt, and then we take them off on a detour, and then the presentation goes longer? And I have Toastmasters to thank for that, and all of us here. Put yourself in the speaker's shoes. And not just the speaker here, but work everywhere. Give a head nod. Give me some feedback. I see a little bit of a wink and a head nod. Thank you, thank you, Toastmaster Mike. <laughs> Pay attention to what is not said. 55%, when I read that, I was like, 55% is non-verbal. Nothing that comes out of my mouth. That means that when you're doing a presentation, eye contact is body language. So I have to make sure I talk, I, lit, I talk with my eyes and I talk with gestures and a lot of other types of gestures. Fist, you could go like this, but 55%, 7% is what I'm talking. So people are gonna remember you by what you, your eye contact and maybe how, the, how you make them feel. 38%, just your tone of voice and your attitude. And that goes for social media and online. You all probably seen a social media post where somebody used all tone of voice. And probably either made you really happy or totally pissed off. <laughs> Now it's time for a pop quiz. I don't know if I warned you, but here's the time for a pop quiz. You have to remember five of the listening tips that I mentioned and put them down on the piece of paper that's in front of you, and there will be a prize. Go ahead, now, go, you have 30 seconds. Because I only have 10 seconds, on, 10 minutes on the clock. But it's okay, I'm good. We won't go over them, but this is to make sure that you're exercising your loosened listening skills. <laughs> what have we learned today? We learned that you could watch with your eyes, you could listen with your ears, and you could keep your mouth And that's how we learn to listen effectively. And wow! Just your luck, I am almost to the end of my presentation and you have so much extra time to write down some more notes. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, how many people here have five? Okay. That's two. Great. Who was the first one to raise your hand? You win this. It's called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff While Listening. Ooh. Wow. And the second one, you get a 2012 Postmaster ID, <laughs> which you might not have seen that issue. And then somebody else raised, who also put down some listening? I did. And two I more special prizes. <laughs> this is from 2000. But I bet you you might find something that would still be of value. Anybody write anything down? This one. This is the most carved one, so you better have this at your house. <laughs> 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 to do it with Postmaster. Who else wrote down? Everybody who's a member should already have this one, which is the most current Toastmaster magazine. Which, another way to listen is to read. Wow. So, fellow Toastmasters, no guests, but there will be guests. There'll be 10 more. 